Hello, I'm Roger Moore for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals with an important message about foie gras. Anyone who has ever seen ducks and geese skimming across a lake in a graceful landing probably knows that these energetic birds are delighted to be alive. They are interesting individuals with distinct personalities who, in the wild, recognize and develop committed, caring relationships with one another. They are meticulously clean and even keep their nests free of debris. Ducks are natural athletes who fly hundreds of miles each year and fly as fast as 60 miles per hour. But on today's foie gras farms, ducks and geese are denied their every desire. They will never even see a lake or stream, never breathe fresh air or feel the sun on their backs, and never fly at all. Here they are abused in ways that would be illegal if they were cats or dogs, and they are slaughtered when they are only three months old. Foie gras, which means fatty liver, is a painful liver disease that should be treated by a veterinarian, but is instead cruelly and intentionally induced on foie gras factory farms throughout the world as revolting as it is to eat an animal's diseased organ, the cruel treatment of the birds is even more disturbing. Ducks and geese on foie gras farms are confined to tiny crates and cages that are often so small that the birds can't spread a single wing. They are packed inside dark, filthy sheds where they live surrounded by their own waste without access to so much as a blade of grass or a breath of fresh air. Imagine having pipes jammed down your throat and food pumped directly into your stomach repeatedly so that you felt as if you might explode. This is what young ducks and geese endure every day solely to satisfy the demand for foie gras. Through this painful force-feeding process, birds have as much as three pounds of food pumped into their small bodies every day. In human terms, that's roughly 45 pounds of pasta every single day until they develop a disease that causes their livers to enlarge up to ten times their normal size. The pipes scrape along the inside of the terrified bird's throats causing intense pain, bruising, and deep gashes. When the liver, which is supposed to clear toxins from the body, becomes diseased and massively enlarged, birds often become sick and unable to move. Many birds tear out their own feathers as a result of extreme stress. Sick, diseased, and unable to move under the extreme weight of their livers, Many birds are unable to defend themselves from rats gnawing on their open wounds. Investigations into foie gras farms in the United States and Europe have all turned up the same thing. Sick, dead, and dying animals, many with holes punched through their necks. An investigation by the Animal Protection and Rescue League found one farm where ducks had their wings twisted together in tightly packed cages and bloody beaks jammed into cage wires. At another farm, birds were dangling by wires as blood spilled from wounds in their necks and formed pools on the live birds below them. After being subjected to this constant pain and torture for about a month, ducks and geese are shackled upside down and their throats are cut. Foie gras farms are so cruel that force-feeding birds has been banned in many countries, including the United Kingdom, Israel, and Switzerland. In 2004, California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger also signed a bill that will outlaw both the production and the sale of foie gras in the state of California. But many restaurants continue to serve this horribly cruel product. Please join me and countless kind people everywhere by never eating foie gras and by telling your friends, your relatives and restaurant owners 
that foie gras is a disease, not a delicacy. Please call Peter or visit peter.org.uk for more information.